In this video, I'll be using Chocolaty to package and install Mozilla Firefox settings. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the settings that I will be packaging in my Chocolaty package. Basically, I will be customizing the first run experience, disabling unwanted features like Pocket and Firefox accounts. And also I will be installing the uBlock origin extension. Also, if you want to create your own package and maybe add more settings, you can check out the videos that I have in the bottom of the page. And here you can find a video playlist for more Firefox settings, also a few videos about Chocolaty, and also a video about Nugget Package Explorer because I will be using it to create my Chocolaty package. And now to create my Chocolaty package, I will scroll up and here I have this Nugget package called Template. And I will be using it to create my chocolatey package. So I'll click on it. Then I will click on the button right here to download the package. And then I will go to my downloads folder. Now I will double click on the Nougat package and it opens up with Nougat Package Explorer. And now I need to provide scripts that will be configuring Firefox. And for that, I will expand tools, double click on chocolate install, and then on this edit button. Now for the script, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I have here will be responsible for configuring Firefox settings. And it works by creating registry entries in Windows registry. And now I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet, go back to my package and insert the snippet here. Then I will save it and go back. And now that I have the script that is responsible for configuring Firefox, I can add another script for removing the settings. And for that, I will right click on tools. Here I will select add new file. I will name the file Chocolate uninstall.ps1. Then I will click OK. And for this script, I will go back to my GitHub page once again. And here I have another PowerShell snippet that is responsible for removing all the settings. I will click on the button right here, go back to my package, insert the snippet here. Once again, I will save it and go back to the package. And that's basically it for the script. Now we need to provide few bits of information about the package here. So for that, I will click on the button right here. And for the package ID, I will enter Firefox dash settings. I will leave the version number as is. For others, you can enter whatever you like. And for the package description, I will enter Firefox settings package. And that's basically it. Now we can save the information by clicking on the button right here. And now we need to save the package in itself. And for that, I will click on File, Save As, and I will save the package in my Downloads folder. And then I will go to my Downloads folder. And here you can see that I have the Nougat package, I mean the Chocolatey package for installing Firefox settings. And now to install this package, I will right click on it, select Copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have few Windows virtual machines. And as you can see on both of them, I have Firefox installed. And the Firefox was never executed on them. And that means that I will be having the first run experience on both of them. And now I will open the file explorer. Here I will go to the C drive. And here I will be creating another folder. I will name it Choco. I will go inside of it and I will place the chocolatey package here. And I will be using this folder as my chocolate repository when I will be installing this package. Now to install this package, I will go to my start menu. Here I will search for terminal. I will run it as administrator and now we need to provide the installation command and it's choco install. Then we need to provide the package ID and we can see the ID here on the package name Firefox dash settings. I will enter Firefox dash settings. And because I'm using a local folder as my chocolate repository, I need to add dash s and then provide my chocolate repository location. So it's my C drive and choco folder now i will also add dash y and let's press enter and see what's going to happen and as you can see the package was successfully installed and now before running firefox in this virtual machine i will go to my second vm and i will run it here so you can see how firefox behaves on default so i'll click on it as you can see we get this first run page also, if I enable the bookmarks bar, you can see that we have the getting started page, we have pocket, we have the Firefox accounts, also in the extensions, we don't have anything. So this is the default behavior. 
Now let's go back to the first virtual machine and let's run Firefox here. I'll double click on it. And as you can see, we don't get the first run page. Also, the bookmarks bar is enabled and we don't have any bookmarks here. If I go to my extensions, you can see that we have uBlock Origin installed. And that's basically it. And I also forgot that I configured the start page. As you can see here, if I open a new tab page, we can see this clean page. If I go back to this virtual machine and open a new tab page here, you can see that we have a lot more stuff here. And that's basically it for deploying Firefox settings with Chocolatey package. Now, if you want to revert back some of the changes, we can remove the package. And for that, I will go back to my terminal application. And here I will type choco uninstall. Then I need to provide my package ID. I will copy it from here. And I will also add dash Y and press enter. And as you can see, the package was successfully uninstalled. Let's go back to the Firefox. And for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch it. So I will close it, reopen it. And as you can see, we have some of the settings changed, like we have Pocket, we have Firefox accounts, but not all of them are reverted. Also in the new tab page, you can see that we have the icons here. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.